I want to show you a few fun things about my fitted frames. There's an A package and a B package. And from this side where you're seeing all of these concentric frames, you can see that they're all different sizes. And then the back of each one has some ideas and a few things of how to use them. And in the store, you might see it uh, with this side out or that one, but you want to see that there's an A and a B grouping. So what we've done in the package, we've created sets that will work here. Let me show you. In our catalog, you'll see where we have all of the different sizes, and we've designated how they fit our wood and cling sizes. So in the catalog, and you'll see we have all of the different letter designations of the sizes. So these frames fit perfectly all of our stamp sizes as well as some of our stencil sizes and everything in between. As you can see here, one good way to store them is with a stuffed tainer and using a magnetic page, you can position things so that you can find exactly the size that you're looking for. So I've put it on the magnetic sheet and I've even made some markings. So I have my A group up here and my B group down here and I'm sure you're going to want all of them because they're all interchangeable. And I've even written in some of the sizes in case that helps. So here's a whole group of concentric square ones. And for each size you have an outside and an inside one to be able to frame all of these different sizes. Putting it in the stuffed tainer makes it really nice that you can snap it shut and not lose any of your pieces. You're going to want to keep them all together and be able to find the ones that you want. We designed these fitted frames so that your largest frame will work with our largest stamp sizes and by doing the two panels you have a perfect size to fill the whole card if you're working in this scale. And the simplicity of the fitted frame designs is that it'll work with any different style of traditional or contemporary designs and when things crop at the edges that can make a beautiful design as well. So then I want to show you how you can use them to build up layers, but you can also use them to cut away windows and have your card showing on the inside. And then your wood messages or any of your cling messages, which may be all different sizes, you're sure to find sizes that will fit and allow you to frame the messages. And again, here's your window and you can even uh, do double mats that way as well. You can see how the different dimensions of the frames make it easy to do infinite combinations and design layouts for your cards. And they can go up to working with any larger size cards as well. Here's where having all the concentric squares will allow you to do triple frames and different widths to frame around the edges. And you can do your messages and overlap things on larger panels. And in some cases trim the ends depending on where and how you want to use it to have coordinating look all the way through. When you're working with the frames, it's helpful to have the pairs together so that you can see which is the outer and which is the inner size. And for the large cards, like this one, you want to make sure you know which you're using for your background frame color, and then the inner one will probably be your uh, panel that you stamped and colored. So when it comes to using them, the nice thing about all of our dies is that that cut edge is on that very inside. So when you turn it over, you're seeing right up to the edge of how things are going to fit. And so you can 
work at it just vi visual without worrying about the, the sizes and see what fits. So here I've got several of our Dreamweaver stencil designs were used on these cards and you can see where um, you'll get a nice fit for any number of different sizes and on this one this is some of the new duo stencils and they work nicely with the largest square which happens to be the W. I just wrote down all my letters uh, for example on the square ones right there and so that helps me find what I'm looking for. And if you're looking on the edge of the stamp and you see the code number, then that may help you if you want to mark them that way to find the different sizes. But what you see is what you get because you can see right through them. Wendy created this beautiful scrapbook page, uh, one of our design team, and you can see how nice it is to have coordinating shapes for any different layout. And again, having um, that inside edge allows you to crop your photos and uh, see exactly where you're cutting. And in this case, it was clever to do another patterned panel to fill out the dimension. And I've done that with printed papers as well, as you can see here. And the easy way to do this, um, if you want to combine a couple of different prints, is simply to use some your tape on the back and get the two pieces a smooth edge get them taped together and then when you run it through you can have a nice clean design that comes together another nice feature of the fitted frames is that the design has these center points on each side and this will help you line things up and square things off if needed. And you can see to uh, line it up on a pattern. And here you can see we've created a frame. And even if you wanted to do a combination of little windows, you can see to line up the points and square it off to the edges of your paper. And that gives you a lot of helpful things that you can do. Also, if you wanted to make little place cards by folding it the long way, and again, you've got those points to, um, to line it up and score it. And if the point, if you're wanting to rest it on the table, you can see that occasionally I will have a reason to cut away the point. And by doing it on only the back of a place card, it sets level and it has the pretty little decorative point in the front. It's a nice option to make some beautiful little personalized bookmarks and you could add a message or a name or um, do other more decorative place cards by adding other things to it. And all your layers, here I'm going to show the little bear how this just sort of finishes off the card and you might do another small message on the front as well. And Here's another real fun thing that we sort of tried to show on the back of the packaging where you can make all sorts of little candy favors. So here's one where I just used printed paper. So if you had a lot of them to make, this would be pretty quick and easy. And you can write or print out names if you want to do a spe special message or um, children's party or a fundraiser for school colors or something. You never know. And I want to show you a couple of ways that we use these wafer dies to see exactly where you're going and have coordinating patterns. And there you have a quick way to formulate and design your cards without much measuring or anything except to match up what sizes work with what images. I hope you'll have lots of fun with my fitted frames.